Now the whole idea of decorative space, plastic art, and two-dimensional and three-dimensional can be very confusing. And so let's take a, a look at this piece by Escher. It is a flat two-dimensional work of art. It's a, a drawing because it's on, a, on paper, on a two-dimensional surface. But it has plastic space. I mean, it's um, there is some plastic sort of dimension to this. We um, it's using a lot of things to create depth. You know, certainly perspective and shadowing and texture and detail. And so we're creating some plastic space. We're creating an illusion of three dimensions on this flat two-dimensional surface. Now, when we have an object that is two-dimensional and uses some decoration. For example, you could consider this part of like decorative space or decorative art where this it's creating some dimension here because of the roundedness and now this has some dimension here but it's it's kind of ornamental like you see these things here and you know some kind of ornamental things along here and here. This is really creating some dimension but it's really decorative as opposed to using convergence and perspective and shading. It's really helping to create a three-dimensional surface or the illusion of a three-dimensional surface. But something that's truly three-dimensional is more if you're talking about architecture and ceramics and sculpture. Now if we were to see this as a live model we would consider it three-dimensional because it actually does have depth. But on this two-dimensional surface we only have the illusion of depth. 